everyone and welcome back to the channel and to a new project. Um, so this time I've kindly been sent a model from a German company uh, called Giro Design to try out uh, and to create a small diorama. Um, they have a number of buildings, uh, plaster buildings and other accessories on their website and this particular one is called Camp von Berlin uh, B which is basically a facade of a city building um, but which is also included in the box is a plaster base as we'll see in a moment. Uh, which will come in very use really useful. Um, they also do an A version um, similar to this, which can be used in conjunction with this one I have here to create a, an even larger scene, um, which will give scope to create a, a really nice model uh, with lots of potential to add figures, vehicles, barricades, etc. Um, and that will make a, a really nice looking diorama. But for just for today, uh, I'm going to concentrate on this one. So inside the box, when you open it up, um, there's another two boxes which it takes to take out first. The two boxes in the first one, just open this up. Uh, first off, there's a, a laser cut um, set of windows and the door as well, the front door. Some of them have been obviously damaged. Um, we'll have a look at those later. Um, so the first one, again, nicely packaged up, is, just remove that, is the base. So you can see here, this is obviously where the building will go. We've got the pavement um, and then the, the cobblestone and what looks potentially like tram lines, I'm guessing, along here. Um, the thing I like about this um, is, as you can try, I'll try and make out, you can see uh, the cobblestones, they're not all even. There's not flat. They're a little bit off center, a little bit uh, bumpy, if that makes sense, um, which creates quite a good... Um, a realistic effect as opposed to just being smooth and, and uh, you wouldn't normally find that um, potentially in a city uh, a rundown city so to speak so uh, this is all really nice really nice casting um, so that's a good start so to the second box I'll just get this open and obviously inside of here is the building itself again really nicely packaged first off is one of the small is the smaller wall in, again, like obviously in plaster, really nicely detailed and textured, uh, the brickwork uh, nicely defined. Um, and one thing I do like about this is up the side of the walls and on the top as well, as opposed to like a building like Mini Art, for example, when you have to uh, glue and attach the front and the back together in two separate parts. Obviously, this is all one piece, but they've included the, the broken bricks and the mortar and all the, the rubble all the way along the, uh, the top of the wall and down the sides. So you don't have to add your own or, or think about uh, how to texture all that. That's already been done for you, which is a really nice idea. Uh, it's a really nice touch. Uh, a little bit of, of excess plaster here left on the sides, obviously from, uh, from the unmolding and around the windows as well. But that can be quite easily removed, uh, sanded down and removed. So first off, uh, first wall, really nice. And then the, the second part, the main part itself, Building again, obviously that's the inside, uh, the interior just plain, um, so it gives you lots of scope to, to create your own interior by adding uh, flooring, um, additional flooring um, and paint the walls, wallpaper, accessories, bits and pieces like that. So that gives you the freedom to do that. And on the other side, again, really nicely textured and detailed. Again, all the brickwork and the plaster, broken cracks and stuff like that, really nicely done. Um, lots of nice touches and again on the sides of the walls you can see again the broken bricks um, so no need, no need for you to, to, to uh, have to do that yourself um, so a really nice start the two pieces that go together um, and then we'll have a look now what it looks like uh, with the base okay so to put it all together it's obviously very simple uh, just the three parts the front wall there the main part and the side wall and that's it within two seconds it's done um, as opposed to something like a mini art building, which I've built quite a few before in the past and I do like them. Um, but the hours that it takes to cut out uh, all the individual pieces around the door frames, um, around the windows and then start gluing all that together, the fronts and the backs, um, and filling all the holes that inevitably uh, occur and sanding all that down. Uh, and also obviously around the, the side walls, that always has a seam line, you've got you to work on all that. And this is already done in a couple of seconds. It's put together and it already looks like a really nice uh, model without any any work done on it at all. 
Um, the sides, the join between the two walls is pretty nice. Perhaps a tiny little bit of filler maybe, but, but nothing's, nothing major. Um, and again, the, the details on the paving and on the cobblestone street, the, uh, the drain covers and the tram lines all looks really nice, uh, really nicely textured um, and quite impressed with that really. So can't wait to start getting some paint down on this now. Um, I can start working on the interior, thinking about the, uh, the flooring and the walls I want to do. Um, how I'm going to go about doing that and the rubble on the inside and on the outside but keeping the rubble and the groundwork to a minimum because I don't want to hide too much of this um, it would be a shame to hide hide it all uh, so as you could have could have tell really from the the opening titles I'm going to base this on a Berlin scene um, during April and May 1945 um, the fall of Berlin and create a little Volkssturm and Hitler youth scene um, keeping it all Keeping the scene pretty much to a minimum. I'm not going to include any vehicles or anything. I just want to show off the building really. Um, I'm going to build a little blockade here from scratch. Um, you add about six six figures, um, Volkssturm and Hitler Youth, um, basically waiting for the uh, the Russian army to arrive. Um, and that's about it really. Um, so I have to start getting the figures in, and then I can start uh, working on this.
this is where we're up to right now. Um, obviously starting to get paint on the, on the building. Uh, start thinking about the scene of the street outside. Um, the figures have obviously come down and been put together and it's uh, ready to start painting. And also the interior of the building. Uh, start on some of the interior walls and the decorating. So at the moment it's all developing nicely. Um, pleased with how it's all going. And then suddenly now Stalingrad miniatures have gone ahead and released this uh, set of six figures of uh, the Volksturm. Um, and as you can see, they're really nice. Um, the poses are slightly a uh, bit more dramatic than what uh, my scene is going to be. Um, there's a lot more tension going on as opposed to what's happening in mine. It's a little bit more relaxed, the calm before the storm, so to speak. Um, but I particularly like the look of these two guys. Um, and I thought of a way of incorporating them into my scene and, and how I could go about doing that. So what I've decided to do um, is just pull this back a little bit further than uh, as fast forward as it what it was. Um, I've made this out of a couple of uh, dowels um, for a, a beginning of a roadblock. And this is a piece that came out of the spares box. I had this a long time, but I'm not quite sure it was a nice little um, set of sandbags there. Uh, this is in plaster. So what I've decided to do is cut this back a little bit so it fits more onto the pavement. Um, a bit hard to maybe explain but take a little bit off there this will sit snug against the wall um, and then I'll have a contrast between uh, the front and the, the rear lines so that'll help with the story a little the two new guys from uh, Stalingrad I'll have coming out from behind the barricade and just starting to venture out into uh, into the front line or, or ahead of where the other guys are and at the back here will be the slightly calmer um, scenario with the figures that I've already got so obviously I'll still have the uh, the children bringing the cart with the ammunition uh, and the two boys that were originally going to be at the front will be at the back now. And that's the only change. Everything else will be pretty much as it was. Mm -hmm. 